fight with these. And also there are different kind of grades of the blade. I got an Ultra Edge mid-grade where it gets puts a little weight to it. But the reason why I got the uh, Ultra Edge mid blade is because so that way I can take harder blows with it. And also this isn't really that heavy. I could swing it around pretty good. Thing is though, this is really big. You could select what tip you want. A round tip or a pointy tip. I got a pointy tip because it looks more like a sword. Also, um, this is the Graflex SE or CE. I'm not sure. You can select all kinds of things. You can select what color this is. I wanted it bronze to make it look real as close as possible. I got the back button is red. I got the non-illuminating one because it was more money. But um, yeah. If you ask me, it's really cool. And one of the cool things you can do with this lightsaber is that you can take the blade out and just have the hill. I got an LED protective cap to put in here and you have to screw it in. Now, um, the screw to unscrew the blade is right here, this little knob. You have a choice to make it a button or a socket. Um, but yeah. Um, overall, it's really cool. You get to design it. Like, you get to pick like what you want on it and stuff. And you can pick different hilts. Next year, I'm going to try and get a Kylo Ren looking one from Saber Forge. My brother and my dad, my brother and my dad are gonna try and get one. My brother wants Luke's green one. But yeah, um, I'll show you what it looks like, what it sounds and what it sounds like, and what the color is. So here we go. Really cool. Now, as you'll notice, it's brighter down here, and it's lighter up here. Well, that's because of the mid grade. I got, it's um, the thicker the blade, the less it will illuminate towards the top. I really like how it looks on camera, it looks so real. It looks like a real lightsaber, like, hold it like this. Um, also, oh yeah, the blade goes with the hum. Uh, sometimes. Also, hear the clash sounds. See? Anyway, and if you hold this button down right here, it'll it'll make the noise when it's in lock mode like this. You get to pick what color blade you want. Um, they'll give you multiple colors. This is Guardian Blue. I want it to look like the one from The Force Awakens. But if you want a new Hope style, you can also get um, Arctic Blue, which is where it's like really bright, a real bright blue, but I wanted this to look like the one from The Force Awakens. Um, yeah, sorry, I have to move it around a little bit. Like that. The ignition sound is really loud. Um, the hum is loud too. And what you have to do is that if you want that lock mode, that, that thing to happen, just press the button just once, like this. And you press it again to make it stop. However, if you want the blade to turn off, you have to hold down the button. Like that. But yeah. Um, now, here's the thing about these lightsabers. They're not cheap. They're pretty pricey. Like, this was around maybe $300 or $400. So you're looking around maybe around half a thousand dollars if you go way overboard. But yeah, if you're asking me how much it costs, yeah, it's it's that much. But if you're asking me if it's worth it, it definitely is. Definitely getting your money's worth here. Um, problem is is that um, the batteries, uh, the batteries is that what you'll do is that they unscrew on here. You take the battery thing out, and now sometimes when you're clashing the swords, um, the battery will pop out of place and the lightsaber will turn off. You, it comes with a velcro thing, you just have to tie it extra tight around there. And there, I don't feel like taking it out right now and screwing around. But yeah, um, you, they have uh, many others. They have Luke's green one, they have Vader's. Um, yeah, you can just, they have cheaper hilts, but I wanted a Luke's blue one. Luke's, yeah, I guess now it's considered Ray's, because now I think Ray's gonna use it. But yeah, um, this is my birthday present that I got. Um, I'm really excited about, I'm really excited I finally have it. It took maybe about three weeks to get here. Well, they had to build it. The reason why it took so long to get here is because, um, because of the new movie, people were wanting this lightsaber. But it's definitely worth it. I'm really glad with it. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close off the video. Before I do, I'll just give you a, a last shot of it on. So here we go. Here, I'll do this Finn style where he's about to face off against Kylo Ren. Oh yeah, another thing. You can change, if you get the Obsidian Light soundboard, you can hook it up to your computer and change the sounds it makes. The clash noises, the ignition noise, the hum. I don't want to do that because I'm perfectly fine with it. But yeah, it's really cool. I really like it. I highly recommend it. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, so rate, comment, and subscribe for more content. You can follow me on Instagram. And thank you guys for watching. Later.